In this video, I want to talk a little bit about paper and graphite drawing. This is a an Indian rhinoceros drawing that I've been working on for a while, and I'm just about finished with it, or finished with it. And because I had been working on it for so long, and it had been moved around a lot, it had taken some wear. I had um, water spots here and here that um, I had been filling a pen or a paintbrush or something, and water ended up on this drawing, and it left a mark. So what I wanted to explain, um, this is Winsor & Newton 140-pound hot press watercolor paper. And that's my standard paper for drawing of all kinds. With a paper that strong, what I was able to do, I finished the, most of the graphite yesterday. I was able to take this whole sheet of paper and slip it into a um, low flat bin that had um, bleach diluted a little bit with water. I slid the whole piece of paper right into the water and treated it almost like a photograph when you're developing film. I then hung it up and let it dry. And what that enabled me to do, first of all, the, the marks from the water spots came right out. Now you can still see a large fold that is there, but that was much worse a moment ago. Because what I am now doing is I am uh, taking the drawing, I'm putting it drawing side down on an ironing board, and I'm pressing the paper. And I am using a sheet of copy paper in between the drawing and the iron. So this had a major fold and watermarks on it. And through the last hours that I was working on it, I was like, well, it's ruined. You know, why am I still doing this? But this is at least presentable enough that under um, the correct photographing um, conditions, it could either be a reproduction, um, it could be framed as an original. It depends on how much of this large fold I can get out of there. But this is one of the reasons why you should always buy high quality paper for your drawings. Only with something such as 140 pound hot press watercolor paper could I soak the whole sheet with the drawing right on it. The drawing didn't shift at all because it's graphite, and um, then let it dry and iron it. That's the quality of the cotton paper. So um, this is just something you can do, and I'm going to continue to iron this and get as much as I can of this one major wrinkle out of there. Now the way that it happened was I actually was keeping this in a folder. And when I went, it, went to put it in the folder one day, a corner got caught and the paper bent and almost ruined everything. But we'll see if I can get it totally flat. So that is a way to recover your paper, not necessarily your drawing. The drawing is fine, but recover your paper even after you've finished a drawing. Windsor & Newton. 140 pound hot press watercolor paper.